Hello there everyone, this is me Ethan here and welcome back to another LEGO ranking video. Since we are now officially in the Christmas season, I thought I would rank one of the most iconic sub-themes from LEGO, the Winter Village. This sub-theme has been a staple from LEGO every holiday season since 2009, and there's been many ups and downs with some great sets and some just alright. I've always loved this sub-theme because it's such a fun lineup of holiday sets that we get every year. So without any further ado, let's get into the ranking. Taking the bottom spot on the list is the Winter Toy Shop, specifically the remake from 2015. Now this is far from a bad set, in fact it's a slight improvement from the very first Winter Village set in 2009, but the problem with this set stems from the fact that it is a remake. Out of all the 14 years, 2015 has to be the worst simply because it's a remake of a set we already have. There's nothing new here. Great set, very boring year for the line. At number 13 is the Winter Village Station from 2017, and this is a great add-on to the holiday train released the previous year, but as its own entry, it's just a train station. Don't get me wrong, it's a very well-built train station, but it is just so lame of an entry compared to everything else on this list. Next up, and I'm probably going to catch some flack for this, is Santa's Workshop at number 12. I know a lot of people will rank the more fantastical, less Winter Village type sets lower on their own lists, but this is the only one that I truly dislike. It's a fantastic idea, I love a LEGO Santa's Workshop, but the execution just doesn't land it for me. The exterior looks fantastic, but the interior is so incredibly shallow that I can't say that I love it. The reindeers in Santa's sleigh is very fun, but my issue with this set is the fact that the name of the set is built with side builds, not the building itself. The only part of Santa's workshop is the conveyor belt and the small building table in the interior. This set just doesn't live up to its name. At number 11 is the 2018 Winter Village Fire Station. And at this point in the ranking, these are the sets that I think are okay at best and I wouldn't mind owning. And the Winter Village Fire Station is one that I don't mind, it just doesn't scream Christmas to me. The classic fire station look is nice, but I could see this as just a really nice city fire station. It's a pretty good set, it just doesn't feel super Christmas to me with its main build. At the number 10 spot is the Winter Village Market from 2013, and this is one of the greatest package deals for $100 from LEGO. The fairground atmosphere with the Christmas aesthetic creates a fun set. The merry-go-round and all the little shops make the set feel pretty complete. The only reason this set is lower on the list is because there are better sets that have larger, more solid builds, rather than multiple medium-sized builds. The 2010 Winter Village Bakery makes its way to the number 9 spot. For $55, this is one of the cheapest Winter Village sets, but that doesn't discount the set from being good. The bakery is small, but a great build for the price, and has a nice cozy aesthetic. The ice skating rink and the horse-drawn carriage carrying Christmas trees are the extra cherry on top. At number 8 is the Winter Village Post Office from 2011. This is the only full LEGO post office we've ever gotten, so this set is super unique and I really like it. The post office build itself is enough for someone to like this set, but you also get a decent selection of extras, including a classic delivery truck. This is all around a solid Christmas set. At number 7 is the 2020 Elf Clubhouse. And my goodness, is this one of the best fantastical Winter Village sets. It's such a fun idea and it's executed perfectly. The exterior is fantastic with a unique sand green and dark tan color scheme. And I especially love the circular door at the front along with the hanging Christmas lights across the roof. The interior is one of the most fun with beds for the elves and a feature where you can rock their beds and wake them up. The back of the chimney also doubles as a waffle dispenser. There are seats on the main floor for them to eat and a workstation. The Christmas tree is also probably the best one out of all the Winter Village sets. This overall is one of the most charming sets out of this sub theme and I love it. At number 6 is this year's set, the Holiday Main Street. I recently built this set and I can gladly say it's one of the best. The two shop builds being a toy and music store are both super fun to build and they look great in the Winter Village. None of the interior space feels wasted and the exteriors are unique enough to stick out. The tram is also surprisingly large and it's a great new addition to see in these sets. My only issue with this one is the fact that it doesn't have any tracks for the tram. It does promote buying them though, along with the motors and lights, which costs almost as much as the set itself. Other than that, it captures the holiday spirit so well, and it fits into a winter village. 
At number 5 is the original Winter Village set from 2009, the Winter Village Toy Shop. And this set is simply the original. It's great. You get a full build toy shop and it looks amazing, both exterior and interior. The Christmas tree is also massive for the set and it looks really good. The Winter Village Toy Shop is a complete and well-rounded Christmas set. Can't go wrong with it. At number 4 is the Winter Village Cottage from the next year, 2012. And this is one of those rare $100 sets from LEGO where you get way more than you deserve for your price. The cottage itself is fairly large, and while the interior is cramped, there's some nice details still inside. The exterior is especially beautiful with its sand blue and brown colors. It has such a nice cozy look and it looks like a cottage. Even the side builds are great. You get a snowplow truck, a sled, igloo, and wood chopping station. Moving up to 2016 at our number 3 spot is the Winter Holiday Train. And boy, what is there to say about this set. For $100, you get a full LEGO Christmas train with tracks to put around your Christmas tree. And one of my favorite parts is that all the extra gift side builds that regularly come in all the Winter Village sets, you can just toss in the train and you don't have to worry about losing them. It's hard to go wrong with Christmas train and this one is near perfect. Taking the runner up spot is the 2019 Gingerbread House. This is one of the few sets I have from this sub theme and my goodness is it a joy to look at. It's crazy that we only recently got a Lego gingerbread house set, but the first one that we've gotten is fantastic. The candy exterior is very fun to build, and the interior feels full of detail for the gingerbread family. This is pretty easily the best winter village set that doesn't fit into a human winter village. It's super creative and colorful and I love it. And taking our number one spot is last year's Santa's Visit. And this set is perfect in my opinion. It finally captures the iconic Christmas Eve night when Santa comes to visit a family's house and drops off all the presents. The house build is simply fantastic, using the same color as the cottage that we've looked at before. The techniques to get the roof angles to align just right is amazing and it looks so good. Small details like the wolverine claws for the wreaths around the house is so fun. And this set has the best interior design out of all of these sets, bar maybe the gingerbread house. All in all, this is the best Winter Village set in my opinion because it captures the iconic Christmas Eve night when Santa Claus comes to town. So there you all have it. There was my ranking of all 14 LEGO Winter Village sets. This was a very difficult list to make, so I'd appreciate any support. And what are your top 3 sets in this sub theme? I'd love to hear any and all opinions in the comments section below. So if you all enjoyed this ranking and if you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye and have a great day.